Hello everyone, this is Krish from Informatica customer success team. Um, today I'm going to discuss how to capture the audit log entries for the mapping tax in ICS. So building an audit mechanism for capturing a mapping tax audit log entries in a database. Um, there are a couple of steps that we need to follow and we can real time capture all the audit metadata uh, uh, details like a, a mapping tax is running how many um, rows got success, how many have failed, or is there any um, records which drop to the target for success or failure rows, even for any specific issue, if the mapping tax when running, if it is thrown an error, we can capture all those details. So to building the audit mechanism for the mapping tax configuration is the first, um, way how, how we're gonna capture this and and we'll also talk about more like how to capture the mapping tax status real time and how to capture the status and write into a database and end to end like how to build this audit framework using the app integration process within um, uh, the ISCS platform which call as a CI or cloud application integrations so approach wise we're gonna first build an app integration process for the mapping tax using the cloud application integrations and then we'll make a uh, call to run the cloud tax using an api and once we get um, the api response being captured um, in the output fields so we will be writing those output to a database so these are very straightforward three steps a executing an api get this field you know the output data captured into the uh, temp variables and then write them into the database level um, this is a target definitions um, where actually we'll be storing all those uh, uh, mapping tax details entries um, that's the name that i have chosen for it tax not necessarily that you have to uh, follow the same uh, naming standard it's up to your uh, enterprise level decision how you will follow that uh, naming standard but the fields that we're going to capture here is the run id uh, the tax name tax status uh, success source rows failed source row and similar to the success target rows and failed target rows uh, start time and time of the mapping tax or any error message in case if there is uh, any error message on the process automation side like once you build the api there are multiple ways you can invoke um, manually you can invoke any api through a postman or some other test rule but that's not going to be solved our uh, automation process so we need to um, orchestrate um, through any uh, scheduler like could be a title or control mbmc scheduler which can make an api call to invoke the process uh, alternatively we can also uh, build a cloud um, you know, data uh, integrations mapping um, where you, you you can use a rest v2 type connections and call the api and but last but not the least the uh, process can be invoked through a tax flow uh, which can be even scheduled uh, through any any scheduler let's move into a demo and i will show uh, how to build the end-to-end -end process um, i have logged into ics platform and i have choose the application integration this particular microservice once you log in that it's pretty much open all your uh, folders applications and i will be talking about the mapping tax audit the process um, which i already built for this demo purpose if you see in this particular process um, there is a start um, which i created uh, which is nothing but invoking this api and this assignment tax i am capturing all the output details and this um, create tax was created um, um, used to write all the uh, data uh, to the database so let me show you um, how the table structure will be so this is what the table structure looks like i already have created and um, there is no data as of now it is blank once you will execute, you will see that data will start populating this table. 
um before we jump into the little more details i just want to let you know um so we need to have a connection created which is nothing but call as an app uh, connection so you go here and you can create this app connection if you click on the app connections uh, it's um gonna open is in you know uh, where you can fill the name uh, you choose the type this particular case i have uh, chosen the jdbc generic cloud adapter connections um, and then i choose the secure agents and i prop uh, populate all the values so let me open that connection which is already created um, this is one of the connection that i created and i have populated all the details that necessary uh, with schema and uh, details just to identify all the, i mean just to point where exactly i'm gonna write the data so this is my um, oracle uh, jdbc connector to write uh, for this process to write the data and then this is the process that i have this particular name i have chose to give uh, and i also write this api uh, let me click on this start button where I can show you. So this is general where you can choose a name. Um, you can overwrite the name or else let it be. And you can um, identify where you want to build, you know, save the um, APA process. So that's your location. On the start, you can see here, um, I build bind as a REST API. Uh, you have to give a allowed user group or you can go with an anonymous access for anyone to uh, invoke um, currently running as a current user um, for this input i have chose like the tax name and type um, basically this tax name um, is dynamically i'm gonna send them the name and the type where i can provide exactly what um, type of the mapping tax he wanted to run output fields um, these are all the output fields I have created um, based on the table structure and um, you have to put all the types so you click here as a new um, and then you have to type the name of it and the pop uh, put the type and once it is done uh, I haven't choose anything advanced like you can even choose the uh, normal or uh, tracing level and or tars or normal or barbos in order to uh, little you know generate the more logs to identify what's going on uh, how this api is uh, running uh, in every details for each rows um, and, and then once this particular process is running it's basically a service you can see that i have chosen a system service so once it's system service the under action there will be multiple options so this is nothing but start uh, um, this job this action is uh, run cloud task so once that option is chosen that action it, it basically invoke um, that uh, mapping task and once it will invoke the mapping task in parallel it captures um, all the uh, audit informations that we we, we we are talking about here run id tax name success rules fail rules start time end time uh, error message etc you can see in the input fields um, i have given tax name where i populated a formula um, let me open this so this input tax name is nothing but my parameter where um, i can give the tax name as well as i can uh, populate the type like this case it could be mtd mapping configuration tax or can be any other tax wait for this tax to complete this option is gonna give you like when you are invo invoking this uh, uh, process so the process will wait until the end to end uh, mapping tax is finished so it's the response will be captured only when the mapping tax is completed fully so these options uh, will wait for the tax to complete and fails on the cloud tax error that's the content error so all those three inputs i have uh, given and i haven't choose any fault handlings but you, you still can uh, capture a fault in, in case you like to 
and this assignment tax um, you can see that uh, I can add all those assignment and I can add those content which I am getting as a, this from this process and I can uh, look at this but on the only point I just wanted to notice like the output status for this mapping tax is retaining as a value one or zero so one indicates it's a succeed so I have made a little bit of code change to instead of one I will be writing as a succeed and uh, anything other than one I will be writing as a fail so that's what that small code that I uh, wrote here and rest of the fields are exactly the same way it, it's mapped the last tax is the create tax where I use this connection type um, which will gonna uh, write that to the database and that's the object name um, and you can see all these inputs are automatically populating so once this is done uh, basically I will be saving that and I will be publishing it so once this publication is done you will get the properties details so this soap URL the service URL will be generating so you can copy that and for testing purpose you can um, use the same API here and this tax name is nothing but um, on the parameters you can type what tax name you like to run uh, and give that option so this is on the this is one of the mapping tax I'm going to run right now so let's invoke this mapping task so once you invoke it um, you can go ahead and um, look at your monitor you should see this is started running which is nothing but this mapping tax and also in the console we can monitor the process this is the mapping tax in for it that's the name that we have given this is start so looks like it is finished and it captures all these audit informations and let's go back to here i see this is completed and if i also look here i can see this uh, tax is also completed let's have a look on the database yes there is an entry made no errors encountered so this is completed um, let me run a different tax name and see how this is capturing so this is another uh, mapping tax so I'm going to run so I click send and I'll come to here uh, looks like it started running again and if I go to monitor I see this is also started this is running looks like this is done um, log into that database again and then execute the query um, so it creates an another entry for the next subtask not subtask the for, for the next task and I see some success rows there is no fail rows but it captures an error so what is that okay so let's look in that job itself okay so basically there is a uh, command which came out and exit so yes so it, it also captures um, let's open the mapping text to see exactly what's going on
okay looks like there are some command that we are executing and came out with a failure so yes based on this the part of the pre or post session command has failed but the overall job got succeeded that's what in the monitor we can see uh, the job status is showing success row and uh, tar the target success row both are uh, same there is no dropped uh, same is reflecting here as well so like that um, you should be able to execute any one of this mapping um, you, you, using this process um, and the only variable part is the task name so once you you know pass this parameter it's it will execute and captures all those uh, audit informations to a database tables and basically this can be used for future to to build any reports or dashboard um, the overall status of the health of this particular task like uh, whether there is any miss uh, to run a particular day or how this uh, how many rows it is processing day to day by basis so a lot of different informations you can get from these audit tables let's go back to this process so this process is reusable um, and um, once you publish this process uh, you can invoke that through an api which i am doing through postman also this this api can be scheduled uh, which i was talking earlier right um, it needs to be orchestrated so that any job that you like to run you you can be invoke that job uh, through any control M BMC or could be any scheduler like in Tidal or control M or in any any enterprise level scheduler which which supports the uh, invoking uh, REST API calls the web service call so you can configure that to invoke a, a, using a CI process you can invoke any CDI mapping tax and parallel you also can capture the um, mapping tax uh, audit information to a database tables Thank you for your time. We would love to hear from you. Um, if you have any additional questions, please reach out to support video at informatica.com or our uh, twitter.com slash info support. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.